Hey guys, Richard Holdner here, and as always, welcome to the channel. While you're here, I mean, like, you're already here. Like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff so you get notified when I do all this testing because I got a lot of cool stuff on this channel and you'll want to be notified. Today we're taking a look at two titans of the industry. We have the Holly High Ram, we have the Edelbrock Pro Flow. We even have a very cool test motor that will push these things to the limit. We've got a 427. It's got compression. It's got ported heads. It's got a big camshaft. These two intake manifolds are perfect for this combination. Let's see who wins. Okay, guys, before we get going, we need to take a look at our test motor because obviously the test motor affects the kind of gains that we get from any sort of modification or change that we make. This was a 427 LS7 short block, although it did have a piston upgrade on it. It had forged pistons. It was bored 4130. It had a set of Molly flat top pistons with 2cc valve reliefs. It had a set of TrickFlow 255 CNC ported LS3 heads that had been milled 50 thousandths. It had 1.7 uh, ratio shaft rockers from Brian Tooley Racing. Had a pretty good size camshaft in it. It was 618 lift, 247, 270 on the exhaust side, 112 plus two. So good size camshaft. So the thing served to, you know, allow us to maximize the flow rate or tax the flow rate of all of these intake manifolds. So let's find out how all of the intake manifolds did. <laughs> Put her on. Yeah, this is gonna be all the powers. The stock is where it's at. Man. You can't do any better than that. If you want weight reduction, you don't need to get rid of the manifold. Oh, That's I know. Sure. Aluminum heads, aluminum block, and a composite manifold. That's a really a pretty good combination. Wheel it in past all these. Poses the wire and everything. Then I'm gonna hold this or something back here. It's getting me. Come on, James, I can't do everything. <laughs> oh, that's why I hooked this one. Oh, yeah, hooked it. It snapped into place. Boom. This is a lot easier just um, me using my camera, watching <laughs> somebody else do all the dyno work. I like, kind of like this. <laughs> What is it, vacuum line? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when I say hi, you say ram. So James isn't trusting his icrometer, which is <laughs> patent pending. Uh, icrometer's out of calibration. What is it? 105. See? 104 and some change. Come on. <laughs> So we had to go from these over these because the holly wants the tolly. Awkward thing here. Yeah. <laughs> here goes James again. <laughs> Intake number 27. Hold the camera, get the lines out of the way. Okay. 
Got the high ram finally installed. Got the throttle body installed. Now she's ready to rock. Every intake was optimized for power, naturally. James Short from Short Tuning throwing the tune on the Haltech. When I say pro, you say flow. After removing the Holly High Ram, we got the Pro Flow installed along with the throttle body. Got everything hooked up on the dyno. Now the Pro is ready to flow. All right, time to sync the drive wire wire throttle body. Adjust it. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's that wire throttle. I like that. I like that. Down, 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 down. Whoa! A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Come on, come on. Whoa! 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 There we go. That's a check the water. Pro flow. What's that? I'm about to check the water and the batteries. I think they're getting weak. No, because it's cranking over hard. Yeah. Okay guys, let's find out how well our Holly High Ram did versus the stock LS3 intake manifold. And obviously we've shown it's pretty hard to beat the factory LS3 intake manifold. It does very, very well, especially in the, you know, sub 6,500 RPM range. But let's take a look at our test motor, a 427, got CNC ported heads, got a big camshaft in it. So if anything, this combination should probably lend itself more to these shorter or mid-length runner deals like the Holly High Ram, but let's take a look and see. Run with the stock LS3 intake manifold, our 427 stroker, produced 665 horsepower at 6,500 RPM and 598 foot-pounds of torque at 5,300 RPM. So it did fairly well, you know, broad kind of torque curve. The thing that we would expect actually from an LS3 intake manifold. And obviously the engineers for GM never envisioned running that particular manifold on a combination like this. It was obviously designed for the stock 6.2. But let's see what happened when we put our Holly High Ram on there. I kind of expect the High Ram to do fairly well. And, and it did. It made a lot more peak power. In fact, it made 707 horsepower. So now this combination was making over 700 horsepower, which is very good. Uh, 707 horsepower at 6,900 RPM. So it raised where we made peak power at. Not surprising, given the shorter runners. Also made, but it did make less torque. It made torque drop down from 598 foot-pounds with the factory LS3 intake manifold down to 588 foot-pounds and it made peak torque just like it made peak horsepower it made it higher in the rpm range with the stock intake manifold it made peak torque at 5300 but with the high ram it made peak torque at 5900 so it kind of shifted everything out a little bit but as we can see from here our crossover point 5,800 RPM or so, the high ram much better. So if you're running from 5,800 RPM to 7,800 RPM, there obviously would be no choice. The high ram would be better. And actually, if you're running this thing down the quarter mile and you have, you know, shift points and you don't want to rev to 7,800, let's say you only want to go to 75. So if you wanted to run it from 55 or even 5,000 to 7,500, depending on your gear split, it still would make much more average power, even though it's making slightly less than the factory intake manifold there. It still would make much more average power going through that range. So the high ram, 
at least for drag racing, would probably be a better choice for this combination. <laughs> but if you're silly enough to be driving this on the street and you're, you care about uh, torque production at 2,500 on a cam that, that's this big, you really, you really probably have the wrong camshaft in it. So now we've taken a look at our high ram. Let's find out how well the ProFlow did. Okay, now we've taken a look at the comparison between the stock LS3 intake manifold and the Holley High Ram. Let's do the same comparison between the stock LS3 and the ProFlow manifold, and you should see some similarities. The intake manifolds are very, very similar. They're a tunnel ram style. The runner length is very similar. The ProFlow has a smaller throttle opening, which I thought would come into play in this test, but as it turned out, it did not. So once again, this is our stock LS3 intake manifold on the 427, 665 horsepower and 598 foot pounds. And here's what our pro flow looked like, <laughs> an awful lot like the high ram. It uh, made about two less horsepower, but you're kind of splitting hairs there. 705 horsepower at, again, 6,900 RPM, 590 foot-pounds, so two more foot-pounds, again, splitting hairs at 5,800 RPM. So we're seeing a very similar trend in power. It's making, you know, it starts out at about 5,800 RPM where it's making more power. And we went through all of that. So if you want to know how they did, let's take a look at a comparison between the ProFlow and the High Ram. And you can see not only are they similar, but they're actually, <laughs> uh, yeah, look, <laughs> that's really the same. We would get the same kind of differences there wiggling around one or two horsepower, or whatever, if we just ran one test and then ran, ran the motor again um, at this power level. So you could see if you're choosing a high ram or a pro flow, and, and this is exactly the same results that I got in other testing that I've done on other combinations. When we ran the pro flow, when we ran the high ram, they basically made the same power. So both good choices if you're wanting to make power, as we saw here, at a higher engine speed, they both work pretty well. Armature holder, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff, and I'll keep testing.